approach for comprehensive management of cardiovascular diseases. A very good morning to everybody. I am Dr. Deepak Puri. I am Director of Cardiovascular and Thoracic Surgery in Max Hospital, Mohali. And I am Director of a global group called Cardiomersion. As we all know that heart diseases, they are the leading causes of death nowadays. And almost 18 million people die every year because of heart diseases. And the most common heart disease is the blockages of the arteries which cause the heart attacks. So, what medical practice we are following nowadays uh, in the government sector, in the private sector, in corporate sector, it is based on interventions. So, most of the people, they go to the hospital only when they need an intervention. When there is a complication, they get a heart attack or they really get ill, then only they contact the doctors. So that is a very sad part that we are totally ignoring the preventive aspects and other aspects. So in the last 10 years, we have been promoting integrated approach to deliver comprehensive management of cardiovascular care. And in that, we have been not only including the interventions, we have been starting right from the beginning. And also, we have been trying to develop techniques by which we can deliver cost-effective care. And because of that, we have been able to give very good results, nearly 99.5% success rate. And the patients, they are being sent home uh, two days after surgery on the third post-operative day. And apart from that, we start from the beginning like what is known as the primordial prevention. Primordial prevention is where in the childhood there is no risk factor. So from that time we should start taking care of our health to prevent heart disease in future. The next stage is the primary prevention in which already we have acquired some risk factors and then we know our own risk factors, we identify them and then we start taking care of those risk factors so that we don't get the disease in future. In the next stage, when we still are not able to control the risk factors, we progress on to the symptoms. So we should recognize the symptoms at a very early age and we should, uh, in the very initial stage, we should try to get an early diagnosis and go for the simplest possible management of the disease. So that is the early diagnosis and treatment. So if still we cross that stage, then sometimes there's a complication which needs interventions. Then we should get timely intervention done. We should not keep on postponing the interventions, trying to avoid interventions, which may lead to severe fatal complications. So we should get the intervention done and the intervention should be done with a team approach. And by the team approach, we mean that your cardiologist, your cardiac surgeon, cardiac anesthetist, and the patient and the relatives. So entire team sit together and then they decide what should be done. So we have been promoting the team approach right from 2011 when we held the first conference in India and that was held at in JW Marriott and we had 400 delegates from 22 countries and there were 46 speakers from abroad and 55 speakers were from India. So that was the first global conference and after that every year we have been holding regularly across the globe. In 2013 I was invited by the University of South Florida to Orlando and then we held the conference at Orlando. After that two times we have held at Japan and in Tokyo in Obihiro and then we have held in Dubai, Singapore. So every year uh, there is a new destination and apart from that we keep on holding workshops educational programs, CMEs, to spread the awareness throughout the globe. And after the intervention, we have to again give a proper rehabilitation to the person because he should be able to go back 
to the same uh, work and he should have a better life than he had before the intervention so rehabilitation proper rehabilitation plays a very important role in that and after rehabilitation we have to again go for the secondary prevention because in secondary prevention you have to make sure that the same complication does not occur again otherwise what happens that people go to the hospital get treated and then they keep practicing the same lifestyle they ignore all the risk factors and again after some time they get the same complication again they get heart attacks and they come with heart failure and then they are for the rest of the life they don't have a Mm, a healthy normal life they keep on remaining a patient and keep on getting complications again and again so if we follow the comprehensive management in a proper way we will not only improve our life span we will also improve our health span because your health span is more important because the number of years you remain healthy that is very important it is already known that indians they have a shorter life span compared to western countries and even to the asian uh, people like japanese they have at least 25 years more life span than us and also indians they get heart attacks at a much younger age compared to the western population half of our population they are younger than 50 years when they get their first heart attack uh, which is very scary and Uh, nowadays like even young people you must have been hearing that suddenly a person died because of a heart attack who was apparently quite healthy so we have to be very careful that everybody has different risk factors some of them are modifiable some are not modifiable so we have to control the modifiable risk factors we have to identify them and we have to follow the comprehensive management so that we have a better life thank you Thank you very much Dr. Puri